Hi everyone. <coughs> Today me and Sam are doing a little charity cake bake for Macmillan Cancer. Macmillan Cancer help and support people with cancer. So it's a worthy charity. So what we're going to do, we're going to make about 36 cupcakes. So, to start off with, we've got our cake trays ready. We've got our oven heated to about 175, 180. That's fine. Right, we start off, we, got, we need 330 grams of butter. So we've got butter. So we're going to stick... Whoa! So, <laughs> that was a good start. Oh no, have I broken it? I think I've got a better it's one here. Is it, is it upside down? Is it upside down? <laughs> This is professional. Right, hang on. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky it's for charity. It's for charity. Right, that's 300. 300. Yeah, well, we need, that's too much now. But it's 300. No, it's 300. 300 and a little bit more. I'll say it's about 330, yeah. It's about 325. Right, okay, cool. So we'll wipe the butter in. Then we got, we need the same amount, so it's don't fall off again. Right, we need the same amount of caster sugar. So caster sugar. Don't fall off this one, don't fall off. There we go. 130 grams of caster sugar. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to cream together the butter and the sugar. So, as I mix it, you can do this by hand, but it's just quicker doing it in a mixer. Us. Scrape down the side. Still got a little bit of sugar in there, we'll get that off. We've got that cream together, that's fine. Then to that we're going to add six eggs. Lucky we didn't do it upside down, didn't we? Uh. Do you know what the recipe says? Six, six large eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one in for luck. Yeah. Does that sound about right? You put two in. Don't you? What? You put two in. Don't you? Have I? That's what I was supposed to do. That's what I meant. It's the exact science. Eh? So again, we're just going to. Scrape the sides down just to get all the butter and the sugar off the sides so it mixes nice and evenly. So, did I, did I put eight eggs in? Well, that's going to be an eggy mix, isn't it? How many were in there? Four. Four. Five, and three. Six. Oh, no. Sorry. See, thank you. Well, I thought that box was. I thought that box was. Full. No. <laughs> So, that, so, that, so that's our egg and sugar mix anyway. Egg, sugar and butter, which is lovely. What's that extreme close-up? That's an overhead shot. Is that an overhead shot? Yeah. 
¿Qué tal? Corre. Now we're going to add some self-raising flour. Again, roughly the same amount, about 330 grams, so. About there. So we add that to it. Now before I add this, I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla essence, just to give it a little bit of flavour. So a couple of drops of vanilla essence. That's lovely. We add in the flour. Now you can sift the flour, but I can't be bothered. I just whack it all in. I don't like measuring stuff really, as you know. Mm -hmm. Everything covered in flour. Good. Right. I'm just going to get this spoon in there and just give it a final stir. Around. Make sure there's no lumps. Oh, that's our cake mix. Now that's it, basically. So what we do. Take the cake mix. As I said, don't forget, you don't need to, to um, use a mixer. You can just do it by hand. It just takes a little bit longer. And because I'm lazy, I like to do it. So we just whack the cakes into there. into here, you want to put a little amount in, just so we know we've got enough. You can always add a little bit more later. It doesn't matter if it looks uneven when you put it into the, um, the cases, because it always melts down and becomes smooth anyway. So it doesn't matter if there's a couple of lumps in there. So we've got that, so that's 36 cakes. Get our spoon. Bit of mixture in each, so we can always have more later. That's why you should start off putting a little amount of each. So I said that and I didn't bother, so there we go. So now I've got to muck around and take a little bit out of each of these. I can't bother with that either. So now. So now we got 33. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So I preheat the oven to about 175 degrees. I'm just going to whack the cakes in. And we're going to forget about these for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to check. They don't take long to cook. And it also helps if you can actually fit them in the oven as well. in a bit. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're going to check our cakes and see if they're cooked. They're looking nice and brown. Yeah, there's no wobble in there. They're quite firm. 
they're perfect. Look at that, the perfect cupcake that is. So we've got to get these out. That's cooked. Right, okay. So we'll get these out. We're going to put them on a cooling rack so they stop cooking and um, they basically cool down as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you. I get a little round of applause in the background, which is lovely. Right. By the way, today we're filming in front of a live studio audience, so that's why you can hear the clapping in the background. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, so we got the cakes out. Push it in nicely. How many did we say? 33 cakes, because we were three or four short, or 32, or something like that. 33, okay. That's my fault, because I put too much mixture in. As you can see with that one, it's just slightly gone over the edges. That's not So now we're going to make the icing. Now, enough for 33 cakes. So, God, this is so hot. That's because it's been in the oven, Sam. Right, so we've got all these out. They're cooling down nicely. So we've got, we need 900 grams of caster sugar. So we'll get our caster sugar. Sorry, icing sugar. Not caster sugar, forget that. Icing sugar, that's what we need. So how much we got here? We've got a kilo here. So, I'm not gonna bother measuring this. I'll say a kilo, I'll say so I've got about 100 grams left in there. Yeah, that's about 100 grams left in there. A bit more, maybe. Yeah, 100 grams left in there. Look, that's spot on. Right, okay. And then, so, and then we got 315 grams of butter. So, 315 grams of butter. Have we got it the right way around this time, Sam? 200. 300, a little tiny bit. Is that about 315, you'd say? I'd say it's about 315. So we've got that, so we whack the butter in. Ooh. Notice I've got my paddle on this time instead of the whisk, only because um, it tends to get caught up in a whisk and you can't get it out, it's really difficult to get out. Um, a little bit of vanilla essence. Give it a little bit of flavour. And about nine tablespoons of milk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. Right, okay. See, that was exact. Right. Then we're going to whisk it. Oh, sorry, Sam. Did I get... Oh, no, I've got ice sugar on me, on me Addy Dads. Bloody nightmare, that is. That's why she always wear chef's shoes. Clogs. Me clogs. Yeah, clogs. whisk together and that's our butter icing and we don't want it all that plain colour so what we'll do is we'll divide it up into three bowls so we'll leave some in there which is plain because the plain colour is alright actually it's not too bad it's like a, a creamy colour but what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll dye two more so we got that is in there. pepper 
proceed. Lovely. So we got. We'll do like a red in that or a pink in that one. Blue in that one. And we'll keep this. Nice and plain. So we'll get red food colouring. Blue food colouring. A little bit of blue in the blue, not too much. A little bit of red over here. Depending on how much you go really red, or you can just stick a little bit in and make it go like a pinky colour. It's up to you. I'm just winging it, so we'll, just, we'll see what colour we get with this. So there we go, we've got a lovely, vibrant pink colour, which is what I was after really. I did say pink, didn't I? Didn't I? I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. We've got a lovely vibrant pink colour there. That's beautiful. And then in this one, we should have a nice light blue colour. It's almost turquoise, isn't it, really? There we go. And then we got the nice plain one. Beautiful. Now what we're going to do now is we've got our icings made. We're just going to wait now and have another break for about 10 minutes just to let these babies cool down. They're looking lovely. And then we'll pipe the icing on. See you in a minute. So this is me um, piping bag. It's just a piping bag. It's only nice like a fine. It's a bit of a weird shape. We're going to go with it. So we've got our free icing. We got our cakes. They've cooled down a bit now, so they should be alright to ice on. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to use the same piping bag for all three icing. So it makes sense to use the plainer coloured one first, because I'm going to wash it out and it won't dye the bag. So I'm going to whack a load of the icing into my bag. As you do, get all that creamy stuff in there. Like really pile it in. I love it. I love a full bag. Because you don't have to stop and refill. Just use it till it's gone. And then all you do, just turn the bag at the top. So there's no air in there. Right. Let's see if I can get all the stuff all over you. It always goes out of my hands. Right, okay. I must be more careful. So I've got the, I've got, I've got, I've got me um I've got me um thing. No, I'm not sure how this is gonna come out because I'm just going to go round and round and round and round and all this a little thing on top like that. Okay. So, round. Whee! Lovely. So we'll do this until... The speed is key with this, it's not moving quickly. You want me to hurry up, don't you? Because no. you're right, it's going to be boring, aren't you? No, it's just that when you go slowly, it piles on top. Is it? Yeah. I'm going fast. That's why, that's why it ripples, so if you go quickly, it won't ripple. OK. Who are you? This is some kind of icing expert now. Bloody hell, it's, it's always someone, isn't there? Paxi Baker. Oh, I've got a lump. I'm not getting it out. <laughs> that, that's because you put me off. I've got a lump in me, blooming. In your bag. In my bag. Oh, look, I've, I've, I've corrected the lump. My lump's gone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not funny, Sam. Like, people could be offended by that. Oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> oh, dear, so it's going to make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you know, I don't find that funny. You're right, OK. Anyway, we've got to keep going around. Oh, I've got another lump. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you get a lump and it won't come out? Bloody nightmare. Blo <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I've had an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> My bag exploded. Which is... <laughs> which is not good. You, 
No one likes... Look. Look. No one likes an exploding bag. But fear not, we can rectify this. Sam, stop laughing. It's not funny. It's making me look stupid. Like I can't ice and I can ice. But... So, I mean, this one, to be honest, not quite up to scratch, this one. Use that one as a tester. Okay. Shall we use that one as a tester? So, I'll get a new bag. And we'll do... I must say... The icing tastes delish. I can't believe the bag exploded, though, Sam. Did you see it? Fucking, it erupted. Right, so luckily, I have a spare bag. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> it was on here. Or was it on here? Oh, there it is. I want to clean out that nozzle, make sure there's no lumps in it. Because obviously I got blocks last time. No, it's still blocked. What's in there then? There we go. Right, OK. So, good way of fitting your nozzle into the bag is to put it in, put it to the end, and you can see roughly where you've got to cut, because obviously you don't want it right up here. You want it down about there, so it doesn't come out like it did last time. So what I do is... So I say it's down to about there, so there, so about there. And that should be spot on. Just get me the end of the nozzle through. Yeah, that's cool. So now we'll do pink, I think. Should we do pink? And I feel we back up with pink icing. Again, nice and full. No one likes an empty bag. So then I'm going to wash out the pink stuff. Yeah, make sure the pink's out. My last one, use the same bag. I'm just going to do the blue icing or the turquoise icing. It's turquoise, isn't it? It's not blue. So, again, fill me bag up right up to the hill. Don't want to, because I don't want to keep stopping and filling up. It does my nutting when you have to keep filling out your bag. What? Look, you know, I hate it. I hate doing this. It's so messy, isn't it? Hey? It's really messy. Right, okay. So I take all the air out of your bag. That last little bit of pink out. Lovely. Move over here and we'll start putting the blue on.
So I've washed my hands, get that icing off. And we're going to take our coloured cupcakes over to here. Clear some space in Reese's play. Then we're going to decorate them. So what should we do? Sam, come on, give me a hand. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mm. Snowflakes. A bit Christmassy. A bit Christmassy. <laughs> balls. I know you like your balls. Should we put them on some? What? Yeah? Yeah? All right. What colour what do you want your balls on? What colour do you prefer? Blue. Huh? Blue. Blue. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Blue. Yeah. Balls go with blue, so we'll put some balls on there just to decorate them a little bit more. We'll go ahead and stab. Come on, nickel. Get some of these balls in your mouth. Lovely. Right. Right, so we got them on. Oh, don't worry, that's fine. Go with it. What about multicoloured stars? What colour? I think yellow. Yeah, just a plain one. On that one as well, that one could be covered. Right, okay. Then we got, what about chocolate? Yeah. Or chocolate vermicelli or chocolate but jazz, jazzies. Jazzies? Chocolate jazzies? I never had a lamb. Right, do you, do you want, what colour do you want chocolate jazzies on? Pink, 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 yeah, so pink. Well, can you just mix them up, I suppose? Oh, yeah, they look nice. They look good, don't they? Sam does like a jazzy. There you go. Lovely. And then we got, we can't use pink, purple, hundreds of thousands. We've got to use them on a couple of the... Well, that looks horrible, that colour, doesn't it? That yeah. colour combo is not yeah. good, is it? Looks yeah. like someone's six on it. So we won't do that one again. I think what we might do is we might do a little bit of chocolate on them. Yeah. That's better. Look, balls and chocolate, your favourite. Right. So we've got that. So there we have it. Our beautiful, colourful, pretty cakes. Right? Lovely. We're going to try and sell these now. I'm not sure anyone's going to buy them, but it is a <laughs> bit of cancer. So we're going to have a go. So that's how to make a pretty little cupcake for charity. Keep cooking.